After injuring his left knee and redshirting the 2012 and 2013 season, Jerron Maimon leaned on his parents and his faith for support. My mom and my dad, they were probably the most important in that, you know, in me just having faith in God that everything would be okay. So um, with, with those three components, I, I couldn't go wrong. You know, I just talk to my mom every day. I would cry on the phone with her, like, why is this happening? Because I've never had a serious injury that took me out of playing like that. You know, I always thought I was indestructible. Of course, once you get told bad news that you can't play the sport that you love, it's, it's always sad. But, you know, I, I handled it well. I got a good support group and uh, the coaching staff, they really helped me out. Although Maimon was sidelined, he didn't let the year go to waste. He was able to learn from his coaches and teammates by watching them from the sidelines, and he became a more vocal leader with what he was seeing on the court. It was, it was just basically a learning experience. I learned how to be uh, more vocal from the bench and I can't really show by my actions, so I really had to you know, get up in their faces and let them know what I saw and what they could do better. You know, I was just trying to be uh, another coach on the bench. Grueling rehab sessions, hard work and determination are what eventually got Maimon back on the court. It was, it was, real, it was real gruesome at times, you know. Uh, they would have to bend my knee and you know, when you come off surgery and everything, it's, the scar tissue starts to build up and they gotta break that down. And, you know, it, it was just real painful and you know, I didn't, I didn't like getting up at 7 in the morning to go do rehab for like two hours. It was really draining, but uh, you know, like I said, my support group was there. He also credits Tennessee's medical staff for getting him to where he is today and says he's ready to compete again. If I didn't have those guys in place, I don't know where I would be. I would probably, you know, st still lack mobility and, you know, still lack extension in my knee. So, but, you know, uh, I work really hard. My trainers work really hard. I feel great, you know, uh, knocking the ball, running, cutting, jumping, everything, you know. So uh, I'm really excited, you know, to be able to do the things I, I used to could do. Maimon envisions what his first game back will be like and is anxious for the day to get here. Leading up to that, the game, the day of, you know, uh, I, I'm gonna be real jittery, you know, real nervous, real anxious. I, I'll probably be emotional a little bit, you know, because it's finally here, and you know, it's been so long that I've been on the court, you know, with refs and in front of the fans. I know the fans miss me, and I miss them. So I, I daydream about the games, you know, and I just sit up, sit up at night and just think about what the season's gonna go like. We have a great team in place, you know, great coaching staff, and I'm just so ready. I, I'm, in, I'm anxious. I'm scratching for it. Maimon looks to pick up where he left off on November 2nd against Florida Southern. For UTSports.com, I'm Julia Cox.